Fraser River uh, trying to catch some uh, Chinooks here. And so far it's been a pretty successful day. Nick, uh, sitting beside me here, just uh, brought in one. How big was that one, Nick? 17. 17 pounds. So uh, uh, you must have the secret way of uh, putting this gear all together. So uh, where shall we start, Nick? Tying up the, the spinning blows and the bar uh, yeah. rake and that? Well, what we probably do is just show the main components for rigging up uh, a bar fishing rigging for fishing this sort of what we call the upper reaches of the lower river and I'm talking this stretch between uh, probably the mouth of the Better Canal uh, all the way up to uh, Hope and in that stretch of river the river narrows up substantially and channelizes and of course the current is quite substantial so it's not like fishing in the lower Fraser where the water is very slow and they use much lighter and much smaller rigging. Up here you're fishing heavy current and most of the, the uh, main uh, lure used is a spin goal in sizes number four all the way up to size zero. And uh, we'll show you today the parts and components you need for that and the proper way to set up. Okay now the first thing I just want to show you the main components you're going to need. Now you can make your own but most tackle shops will sell this rig in here and this is called a proper, this is called a bar rig. As you can see it's on a plastic coated uh, small cable or wire. It's actually small cable and uh, it has a T-bar on it with a couple of beads. And uh, they're about usually 8 to 10 inches long. And uh, after I get into rigging this up I'll show you uh, the necessity for having these beads on here and why this rig is like it is. Okay, but that is, uh, that is your actual bar rig. Uh, you will need leader. Generally most guys use 40 to 60 pound leader because this is your terminal rigging. This is the rigging that is on the, that gets all the action. It's at the end of your line, it's sitting on the bottom and you need fairly heavy rigging down there because it takes quite a bit of abuse from the fish and just uh, all kinds of siltation and stuff going by in the current and it will wear, put wear and tear on that part of your rigging more than anywhere else. Also another reason for using a heavy leader, which I'll remind of you later again, is that when you use this heavy 40 to 60 pound leader, it's quite stiff. And when casting with these large spingles, they're like casting a little bit like casting a small kite. They like to fly all over the place and quite often they will tangle up. So you've, the stiffer your leader, the less chance of that happening because it's very depressing when you pull your rig in and after it's been sitting out in the river for three quarters of an hour and you find out that it's all tangled up and you weren't actually fishing at all. Okay, other components you're going to need are weights and generally up in this area, the Chilliwack area, Chilliwack, Hope, uh, the current is quite strong and depending on what time of year or the type of bar you're fishing, most people fish anywhere from 12 ounces and you can see they go right up to like 18 or even 20 ounces. So you need a fairly substantial weight and of course that requires you to have a pretty good stiff rod of 10 and a half to 12 feet. Uh, with uh, a, a, a really good strong reel, like a, not a light duty reel, but a fairly heavy duty reel to handle this kind of uh, rigging. Now the first thing I'm going to show you what to do here is we're going to rig our leader first, okay? So what we do is usually most leaders when you're bar fishing, usually most people, you like to run around 36 inches or 40 inches a leader, so about like that. So you cut that off. Now when you're fishing with spin glows, the bulk of the, the main spin glows used in various colors are a size number two, which is this size, or a size zero, which is the next size bigger. These are the two most popular sizes and they come in a big, large variation of colors as you can see every color under the rainbow. Now the idea of this is when you're using, the bigger the spin glow, the bigger the hook. Generally with these size number twos, we use 4-0 hooks or 5-0 hooks. You want to have a big hook because this is a hard lure. When the fish approaches this in the current, he comes up to grab it. He'll actually mouth will close on it. He'll bounce off. And if you have too small a hook, he will miss the hook or he just doesn't get the hook very well and you'll lose a lot of those fish. So you got to make sure you're using a fairly substantial hook and like probably a minimum size 4-0. If you're using the large spin glow like this, the zero, I suggest a 5-0 to 7-0 hook. You want to make sure that they catch that hook. 